What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, Grand Party, day number 2 of Season 11 is here, and Gear 5 is ready to rumble once again, we're using the exact same team from the first day, and uh, we do actually find a little bit of a hiccup once again, I believe I actually did, uh, I, I lost a game within a match in yesterday's video, however in this video we actually do screw up entirely and we do end up dropping a game, you guys will see that a little bit later, this first one here, pretty straightforward once again, really the first two games are, are very straightforward, it's exact what we expect from this team we utilize health cuts for the first team here with Whitebeard and versus Akainu and the fact that we have pretty high CT from Akainu giving it to himself but also Cracker providing some decent CT increase to Whitebeard just so that we can launch those specials launch that grand party burst skill and secure victory very comfortably moving on to the second game once again we're using the same sort of thing if you end up using gear 5 luffy and you're trying to use the strategy of applying pressure via the grand party burst skill then roger whitebeard is one of the best characters you can do not only guaranteeing 30 percent health cut towards two targets but also guaranteeing two enemies to be hit with massive damage ignoring defense that's going to charge gear 5 skill very very quickly Moving on to match number two, and once again, we're using the exact same team because why the hell not? We're up against a pretty scary looking first team though, which is going to be that uh, striker squad that I know a lot of people are very afraid of, a lot of people are applying themselves. I mean, the second team that we use here is going to be using that pseudo striker focused team. Uh, but luckily with us, we're able to actually have a lot more CT than, than the opponent. And the fact that it's really useful that Whitebeard has a very, very low CT that does that 50% health cut. It's very nice that we were able to apply that, uh, be able to charge our burst skill pretty comfortably. And you do see that, you know, because of all of our early health cuts, we are charging our grand party burst skill a lot quicker. Who's who coming in clutch there? And I am waiting for the opponent's bench to come online to then use the burst skill as it enables us to go ahead and get more hits off with the grand party burst skill of Luffy. You know, if you use it before the bench comes on, you're really just wasting a hit. So make sure that the bench is fully off first onto the main line then launch that burst skill it's going to give you a much higher chance of winning moving on though to the second game once again we're using the striker focus team jack health cuts roger whitebeard phenomenal characters here to zorus to give some ct increase and some more defense luffy yamato on the bench is a very useful character this actually might have been the game that it was very very close i know that there was a game uh in this video where uh i, I ended up using the burst skill with this team and then i skipped because i'm like yeah this should be securing a victory but it actually being a lot closer than i was expecting you do see that you know it was a little bit of a mistake in my opinion i decided to go for it and just try and get the win uh, in hindsight probably would have been safer to you know use it on the third game but either way we got the victory And now we get to the third match of the video up against a Roger leader. So I, I saw that, I saw two other gear fives and you know what, I, I went I went for Roger and you know, now that I've gone up against it and I've seen and I I've seen exactly what Roger's capable of doing once again versus Gear 5 Luffy. I do think that, you know, for this specific strategy, Roger is probably not the best target to go up against, as Roger's GP burst skill kind of works inverse of Gear 5 Luffy. So, just a little bit of a refresher, Luffy, to, to use his burst skill, you need to deal 60,000 damage to the opponent. Whereas Goldie Roger needs to tank 55,000 damage from the opponent. And uh, because they work in that way, you know, we're trying to oppose as much damage as possible. Roger wants to tank as much damage as possible. And the fact that our two teams of these health cutters are not the best defensively means that if the opponent uses their Roger burst skill and then is able to secure more specials against us, 
that's going to cause a bit of a problem. So we secure victory pretty comfortably in the first game. And then we take a pretty big L moving into this game here. And uh, with that, it actually did leave us in a bit of a situation where we had to go on 1v1, Sai versus Sai for the final game. And unfortunately for us, we were unable to secure victory with that one. But, uh, you know, in hindsight, I wish I, you know, kind of kept my burst skill uh, due to the fact that, that Roger was kind of annoying. And, I mean, looking back at it as well, it probably would have been a better idea to switch around the teams a little bit. So, potentially using Roger and Whitebeard against the Dex team is probably more ideal as, you know, Roger Whitebeard could potentially cause a knockout. You know, triggering Luffy's uh, Grand Party or, or his Rumble skill to revive someone, then use the the Gear Five Burst skill, enabling us to do as much damage as possible. And because that Strength team that we just lost to is so heavy on Driven and Powerhouse, then having Wano Law on the Psy team is going to be a really good matchup for us here. So looking back at it here, you know that was a, definitely a mistake on my behalf there. But you see, we're on Psy versus Psy, and look, it's, it's complete RNG in terms of how this kind of goes. The opponent does have Roger on their side of the field as opposed to me running one or law so that actually gives them the advantage in this matchup considering you know Psy Free Spirit doesn't really like to run too many driven powerhouse characters so we end up losing this one but we're gonna go ahead and take him on once again in the uh, in the next one as a little bit of a rematch <laughs> Moving on now, so we're going to be rematching the same uh, player that we just went up against and we lost to. So as I said, I wanted to go ahead and use the team with Roger Whitebeard versus the Dex team. I felt that was probably a bit more of a comfortable position for us. However, it, it kind of just worked relatively similar. You know, the, the team that we had previous with versus Akainu and Whitebeard. The fact that you have Akainu on the team, probably not the best to use him against a Dex team. Uh, that's another reason why, you know, using this team, the striker focus team with Jack and Roger Whitebeard is a little bit better versus Dex compared to the other team with V1 Whitebeard and Akainu. And then, as I said, you know, the fact that the second team, the strength focus team, is also heavily centered around running driven in powerhouse characters Wano Law on the side team is going to give us a little bit of an edge against the opponent there so that's exactly what we do so we're going to switch it up use the side team and we're able to secure a victory much more comfortably and is definitely something I should have done from the get-go so that's going to wrap it up for me uh, towards the end of this video as well there should be a timestamp showing you the grand party legend ticket that I was able to secure after getting five victories so make sure to go ahead and check that out hopefully you enjoyed it uh, and if you guys did make sure to go ahead and leave a like but on that guys I'll see you guys within the next video <laughs> Shiro Hinge Trigger!